All right, for this lab, you're gonna need your tray and you should have two beakers on it. You can take those two beakers up to the front and get some hydrochloric acid. You do not need a lot. You're only gonna need between five and 10 milliliters. And then some NaOH. that you will need more of. I would say start with between 50 and 75. So what we are going to do is take your pipette and then put it in your little pipette holder and take the HCL. And the, for this one, you don't need to be really exact. Um, because we are going, it's between five and 10, if you look at your um, lab. So it doesn't need to be, like you don't need to worry about trying to make sure you have between that. Just make sure your reading is accurate. So you don't need to worry about like dropping down like we did the last one or adding more or anything like that. So again, to use your pipette, don't forget you squeeze the top a little bit. And then this little thing here, you push it up and then the acid will go in there. And then what you're going to do is put that in your Erlenmeyer. And to do that, you just push the lever down. Okay, so just make sure your reading is accurate and between five and 10 milliliters of the acid. You're then going to add some phenolphthalein, and you know you're gonna to have to share this, we only have a few bottles. So add two to three drops of phenolphthalein. And your stir bar can go right in that flask. You'll take your stir plate, make sure that you have one that has the stir on it, okay? And then this will be set up. I'm gonna put this little setup off to the side and set up my burette. So for your, for your burette, you can use your glass funnel and pour your NaOH in there. Make sure before you do that, this is straight across. The stopper is horizontal. If you have it vertical, that means it opens, so you'll get NaOH all over the place. So make sure the stopper is horizontal. And then you can go ahead and add some NaOH. So before I take my initial reading, I'm going to season the burette, meaning I'm going to take my beaker that had the NaOH in and just let a little bit out, doesn't matter how much, just to make sure that everything in here is NaOH. So now I will take my initial reading and I will move my setup with my acid underneath the burette. So make sure you take your initial reading. You have your initial reading here. You're then going to and you can do some calculations to figure out where you expect the end point to be, but we do not know the molarity of HCl. So you can also just get started. You can move your stopper to the vertical point and the NaOH will go in. I'm gonna turn my stir on. And then add the NaOH.
And you can start to see that pink color. And when you start to see the pink color, I'm gonna go slower. And as long as it's not persisting for very long, I can keep just kind of doing little turns like this. And then you see that pink color starts to persist for a little bit longer. So I'm gonna do it drop by drop at the very end. And as soon as the pink lasts for about 30 seconds or so, you don't need to time it, but about 30 seconds or so, that is gonna be your end point. I'm not going to make you watch me do that. Once you have your end point, take your second reading. It sometimes helps to put a piece of paper up here so you get a very accurate reading. And then once you have that reading, what you can do is shut off your stirrer. You can, there's going to be two waste jars up at the front, waste speakers up at the front. You can put your flask into one of them. And you can take this, empty it into your NAOH beaker that you used before. And dump that into the other flask. You can then rinse out your burette. The, the uh, sink over near the hood has a deep sink, so it's good for rinsing out burettes. And put it upside down on the burette drying rack. Rinse out your pipette, put that on a drying rack. Rinse out your two beakers, put those on drying racks. Rinse out your flask and put that on a drying rack. On your tray, all you will need is this, the pipette holder, and everything else can go away. And the stir bar, excuse me. On your tray, you should have the stir bar and the pipette holder and everything else you can put away.